Narcissists do this to destroy your happiness. The narcissist won't always openly insult you. Sometimes they will be more covert. They will do things that are more under the radar. They will use their bad energy to bring you down. You might be really happy. You might be full of joy. You might be full of good energy. But the narcissist will be in the opposite energy of you. They will have this negative presence. But they're not insulting you. They're not putting you down. They're not telling you to not be happy. They just have this energy and you're very sensitive to it. But if you ask them if there's anything wrong, they will deny it. Because they know you're an empath. They know that you want them to be happy. They know that it makes you uncomfortable. So you may try to help them. But it will only make them even more negative. Until you become irritated and frustrated. Until you become negative just like them. Because they're tearing down all of your efforts to be kind. They're doing everything they can to make it difficult for it to happen or continue. They're refusing to appreciate it. But when you get mad, they will flip it on you. They will say there's something wrong with you. They will say that they're just trying to be themselves. And you will end up trying to defend yourself. You will end up losing that good energy that you once had. And you will get sucked into this battle with the narcissist. And then they will flip it on you and say that you're in a bad mood. Which will leave you really confused. But one of the most difficult things you can do. Is to stay in your energy around their negative energy. You may have accomplished something and you're proud of yourself. And the most obvious way for the narcissist to bring you down would be by them insulting you. But the narcissist doesn't even have to do that. Because it's not about what they do. It's about what they don't do that has a lasting and significant effect on you. So you may have accomplished something. But they will be indifferent to it. They will show no particular interest. They will ignore you. And there's no obvious abuse. There's no insults. They're not saying anything bad about you. There's just indifference. There's just a lack of interest. A lack of love. Which is very damaging for you. Because it's making you believe that you don't matter. It's making you believe that nothing you do is enough. It's making you stop yourself from moving forward. Because they have planted and fed this belief inside of you. You might be out at a restaurant. 
and the narcissist will be very charming. They will be very pleasant and agreeable to everyone. They will be very attentive. They will provide entertainment. They will make sure that everyone is happy because everyone is watching. And people will think that you are so lucky to have this wonderful person in your life because everyone is admiring them and you're admiring them too. But you're starting to realize that this character only exists when there is an audience. When no one else is around, the narcissist is a very different person. They're not pleasant or agreeable. They're not attentive. They're not trying to make you happy. They have no personal interest in anyone behind closed doors. But if you told that to anyone, they would see you as the problem because they're seeing a different side of the narcissist and narcissists are expert manipulators. They've had years of practice at doing this while we are just normal people. So when you try to prove your truth, it just makes you look bad. The narcissist will ignore you. They will treat you like you don't matter. They will make you feel bad about yourself. They will give you the silent treatment. But then, you will see them doing everything that you want them to do with other people and it destroys your happiness. It hurts. It makes you feel uncomfortable. And it makes you question if something is wrong with you because they're only doing that with you. Obviously they know how to interact with other people. They possess the necessary qualities to do that. So why can't they do that with you? It leaves you feeling invalidated. It leaves you in a lot of pain. It brings out the worst in you. It causes you to show up around other people in a way that is not like yourself, which is exactly what the narcissist wants. Because then everyone sees that you're miserable and they're happy. Everyone thinks that you are the problem, which is exactly what the narcissist wants people to think. The narcissist needs someone to carry their negative emotions. If they can get you to experience their negative emotions, they can then show up as their best self. They're setting you up to be anxious and depressed. Well, they're out charming other people and being this wonderful person. It destroys your happiness. And over time, it causes you to develop social anxiety. It causes you to develop an intense, persistent fear of being watched and judged by other people. A fear of social situations. Because you've experienced the same situation in public 
again and again with the narcissist until your brain has made the paired association that being around people is bad and unsafe. Many people were at the top of their game when they met the narcissist in their life. And the narcissist teared everything to pieces because they're very sensitive to your happiness. They can't stand it, especially if you're already under their control. When you're happy, the narcissist is negative and it's very difficult for you to be around them but you need to recognize that you are separate they have their energy and you have yours the narcissist will ignore your accomplishments because they want you to chase them for validation. But you can get your validation from within. You don't need their permission to be happy. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.